welcome back to Super Hostile Dolania. We're going to the Nether today. Don't know how that's going to go, but we're going to do it. There are a few things that I want to take care of before we try this, though. First on the list, I made an atlas. Let me see if I can copy the atlas. Yes, that appears to have worked. Very good. And we're going to put that in the ender chest. Nice and safe and sound. The next question is going to be whether updating this atlas updates the other atlas. But, I mean, they have the same name and they stack, so... I'm feeling like maybe they will. It's, it's literally the same thing. So, we will check back in on that later. So now, if we lose this atlas, we'll still have the atlas. And we can continue to make more copies of that as necessary. Next on the list, we're going to the nether. So that means we can't use our water bucket. There's a few different things I want to try. One of them, cauldrons. I place the water in a cauldron. Can I drink the water from a cauldron? Hello? I think you can use bottles on the water in the cauldron but you can only get like a handful before they're all gone yeah that that's that's not useful so we can get three water bottles per bucket of water out of a cauldron in the nether maybe so that's not viable so we're going to have to switch it up a little bit and actually have some canteens. I'm not excited about it. And we're going to need a lot of these. Let's start with three. You take the canteen, put another cactus in it. You make an unbreaking and mending canteen. I don't, don't know how much that helps. Canteen with a charcoal filter? Is that a thing? We don't use these, so... We're a little bit out of our element. Okay, we can put it in a water canteen. To make a purified water canteen, okay. So we're going to need a bunch of charcoal filters. Maybe not that many. Alright, these charcoal filters. These ones have NBT tags for some reason. Okay. Sure, why not? Also, we don't need the wheat for the horse that we're not bringing in the nether. Or a sleeping bag that we don't need in the nether. So, that's two more things. Take our canteen. Fill with three. Or two. We get durability two or three. I guess the durability doesn't mean they're the same thing. And we take the water canteens. We have the charcoal filter. We get purified water canteens. That gives that makes it durability one of three. Okay. Sure. Fine. Move the arrows over here so they're not in the way so much. Probably don't need that many charcoal. Well, really we don't need any charcoal filters with us when we go to the nether. Since we won't be filling the canteens back up once we're in there. Let's put all this away. Check our backpack. Not gonna need gold. Not gonna need hay bales. And it's unlikely we're gonna need anything while we're actually in the nether itself. Maybe some more building blocks would be a good idea. Alright. 
that solves the water problem. So, next on the list of things that might be an issue will be temperature. We have our mild temperature adjusting lining. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. A nice foggy morning to go to the nether. We can still jump a bunch pretty quick. Uh, we jump too much. We can't get inside. Shift it is. I still have this enclosed in case crazy things come out of the portal. And that's, that's the next problem. How bad is this going to be? Is this going to be RL craft level of nether? Where everything's horrible forever and giant monsters shoot fireballs at you constantly? Or is it going to be more average? First on the list, making this area safer. That's partially why we brought all these blocks. And I think we're going to have two exits, ultimately. For the time being, this one will be closed off. All right, here's the Nether Fortress, and which and we can see it on the map, which is also pretty cool. We're going to shrink this down to regular size. I guess we try just going in here. All right, that's in. All right. I'm going to still try to get this fully covered up. Probably probably a good idea. Alright, where is another wall's over here? Slight modification. So we can get a ladder down. I'm gonna jump so quick. All right, ladder time. Down into the fortress. And then if we ever wanted to go outside, we can go outside from these areas, but I don't know if we really want that in particular. A terrible fortress. Getting achievements and stuff all over the place. Add some guardrails here so we can't get jostled off the ladder quite as easily. And we'll get our bow back on our bar. Okay. So this is another fortress. We got some nether quartz, that's fun. Temperature is looking okay so far. What do we got outside? My goodness, look at that look at that crazy blaze. I don't want I just want regular blazes. Why are you be so crazy? Oh wow. Destroyed him. We got... Yeah, we got these macho blazes. That's something. Let's see if there's anything else we can see. Um, I think there's some wither skeletons over there. That's good. That's also something we want. Let's check out our map, since we have access to a big map here. Okay, we... Ah, uh, here's another portal. That looks like spawners, if I had to guess. That's very interesting. Interesting that you can have a map in the nether. It's another abnormality. But I appreciate it. Get a nice view for these fences, okay. Time to explore the fortress. And another wart. Oh, wait, wait. Fishermen's? Gardeners? Who are these guys? Okay. Zombie pigmen. Hopefully non aggressive. Yeah. 
nether wart. And all the soul sand we can use for. Okay, this is nothing. That's good. Well, nothing to worry about. Is that a sheep? Is there a nether sheep? Well, wonders never cease. But yeah, we glitched one of the blocks here. There's Jess. Yeah, I'm hearing a sheep. Oh, what? We got iron rings, a sin dependent, diamonds. Good stuff. I can hear Blaze. Where is this? I'm really interested in this nether sheep. What's that about? It's a cartographer din sheep. What on earth? There's a boss. Blaze. You can trade with nether sheep NPCs. Sure. Why not? That makes sense. A blazing juggernaut. Doesn't seem too powerful. Drop me a blaze powder. And that creeper dropped a TNT. That's interesting. A phantom prism. More diamonds. Pigmen. Yeah, it looks like we're just getting blazing juggernauts instead of... Oh, they have... They have... Area of effect fire. Or something like that. Doesn't look like it does too much damage, but... Noted. What's this ball thing? Looks they're also pretty speedy. Okay. Got another blaze powder. That's progress. Makes me slightly concerned that the... Portal is going to... The spawner is going to spawn the super blazes. Just get over here. See if we can see some more information here. Okay. Yeah, more Blaze Guardian guys. No regular blazes. Interesting. Into fire. That one dropped a blaze rod entirely. Over here, blazing juggernaut. My sword's a fire sword, but that doesn't seem to make things worse for me. These guys are actually really weak. Very good. I appreciate it. That zombie pigman has a hat. Not too concerned about zombie pigman, but obviously don't want to antagonize them if I don't need to. What is this ball? We're gonna, look at the, we're gonna look at a ball now, I guess. Is this a safe passage? No, it is not. Ah! A festive creeper. You know, festive. Oh, this guy's a sparkly boy. He's dead. There was a bouncing off his TNT. Okay. Didn't mean to do that, obviously. We're down here now. Stop the lava. 
Okay. We're okay. This is a problem, obviously. I guess the TNT hit us and we bounced into the lava, so that's not what you want. In general, if you can avoid bouncing into the lava, you probably should. Then we got hot from being next to the lava. Still dealing with the creeper. So back into this area. The TNT knockback was slightly problematic there. Oh wow. Are you You're aggressive? Trying to shoot fire at me? I don't appreciate that. Ancient vase of the nether. Dropped a heart. How nice. There's some regular blazes. Oh wow, look at their look at their fireballs. Very cool. Oh, you can hit their fireballs back, that's fun. Alright, let's head over that way, see if we can pick up some blaze drops. Yes we can. Just like you. Let's try to get to where we need to be, like at a blaze spawner. Well, actually, from inside. Burned meat, not great, but better than rotten flesh. Okay. Heart crystal shard. Cool. Good to have one of those. Down here. We can also look for more chests, because those are gonna have like diamonds and stuff, so that's also something I wanna have. As much of as possible. The regular blazes are also weak. Ah, this one doesn't have any diamonds in it. Cause now would be a good time for a purified water canteen. Negative three of three. The durability, the way this whole thing is code is kind of silly. Tool worker. Trade glow, gold ingots for glowstone dust. Well, we have a lot of both of those things, so I don't know what all trades these guys could have, but not too worried about it right, quite yet. All right, so down this way was nothing. I think now would be a good time to put all of our stuff away back at home. Because we have all the blade stuff. I guess we just put it in a chest here. Now this should all be pretty much safe here. Inventory is nice and empty. Here with some more blocks. I want I want gas roof blocks, obviously. Don't think that their TNT can do structure damage though, so we're probably okay. We got a super blaze, adopt us this fancy helmet. That doesn't really matter. Just a nice balcony here. Oh, we can see a wither skeleton. I really need to fight some wither skeletons. Those would be very beneficial for us. It's this way. Just 
gonna wander around a little bit. Regular blazes. It looks like that could very much be a blaze spawner. Okay. A lot of stuff happening right there. It's the creepers, they're blossoming in the air. That's not what I want. We got a blight blaze over there. That's also not great. Oh, he's, he's coming. The pigman's right in the way too. That's not good. I don't need to get I don't need to get the pigman angry at me also. That would not help my cause. A firefly. Yep, there's a blaze spawn. The blight blaze. Got a wither bone. Fantastic. Okay. Want this to be more enclosed. Let's add some blocks. This is probably high enough, right? Man, they got a lot of drops. Okay, we're running out of... We're running out of cobblestone. We got a golden apple from him. An intact core. Blaze heart for breakfast. So these are... Modified blazes. Of some description. I don't want to don't want to fight that zombie pigman. What I really want is some wither skeletons. All right, let's head back. Let's head back towards our entrance here. Oh, I hear some skeleton sounds. Skeletons? With the skeletons. Chest. That's good too. No more diamonds. Saw you, festive creeper. Oh wow, an obsidian skull. And a wormhole potion. That saves me need to make a. Obsidian Skull. Plus two max health. Wow. Immunity to burning if you're resistance to fire damage. And then you can combine that with other things to get other things. This is, this is, this is not a normal end to this. That means there's nothing back here. Our temperature is doing really good. I'm really happy about that. Makes this whole thing a little bit Easier on me. Drops and drops and drops. Is that pigment? Hey, 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 come on, come on, with the skeleton, come on down. Ah. He did drop an axe to the abyss, with sharpness too. That's interesting. The baby zombie pigman and a light blaze. Yeah, 
the creepers over there. Alright, let's check out the Blight Blaze. Maybe. That was weird. Another drink of water, I suppose. Blaze, blaze do be dodging though. Yeah, we gotta hit there. Man, he is tenacious. And we're on fire. Apparently, being on fire makes us hungry. Or maybe that, maybe that's probably just one of the special effects on the blaze. Oh my gosh, it just keeps moving back further this direction. There we go. Even though we could have avoided all that. There's another red skeleton. Was there a skeleton? Punching skeleton. Blazes. We're on fire again. Nobody should be surprised about that in the nether. We're definitely getting more blazes than wither skeletons. Which is unfortunate. One wither bone. Let me just wander around a little bit more. Mess that up. Wow, a lot of blazes over here. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, we can't get there from here. Might as well dump off some more stuff in the chest over here. I guess the festive creeper broke one of my ladders there. That's okay. Some serious loot potential here. Pretty cool. And some coal. Yeah, we're really low on cobblestone though, so. I could just take some of the stuff out of the nether. That's be a whole nother thing. Any blocks in large numbers. Kinda really do want kinda really would want cobblestone, so. Fearing this up a ladder is not a problem. So we're going to just go pick up some more cobblestone. Maybe bring ourselves some slabs so we can more easily get into the nether. Stack the cobblestone. Check. Do I want the slabs to not match? Perfect. Okay. Stone slab. Stone brick slab. 
So far, it doesn't seem like anything absurd is going to come out of the nether and attack us. So, I think the doors are unnecessary, but either way. Here's some skeleton sounds. Oh, there's a ghast. That's new. Uh, man, their attacks are slow. What is this? <laughs> what an absurd monster. There it is. Another wither bone. Yes, come over here, please. Blazes, are you trying to burn up my wither bones? I do not appreciate it. Alright, so we got two more wither bones. Fantastic. Oh. Blaze here. Just because we've blocked off areas doesn't mean nothing can spawn there, so. That's something to note. And a regular skeleton. Why not? Man, I really like this sword. It's very strong. Oh. Probably don't need wooden swords, but. Hey, what's that sound? A villager of some description. It is the way that doesn't go anywhere. Well, we got the wither bones we wanted, so that's fantastic. Oh, we missed a heart crystal shine. Definitely want to have that. Light place. A magma cube. Wow. Succubus. That's the end of that canteen. Got a regular slime ball. There's a lot of drops in the nether. Pretty good. Pretty worthwhile. Being on fire a whole bunch probably makes our temperature a little bit higher. What are these fireflies? Oh yeah, being on fire. Being able to be over here, on fire. A lot of blazes. A lot of blazes. Pigma. Still, still getting a lot more damage to the head than anywhere else. Which makes quite a bit of sense, all things considered. What's in here? It's a dead end, too. Wow, a magic mirror. Now we don't even have to make that. These are really good chests. An Ollie chest in there. 
Eh, that sounds useful. Mm. Shall put to your spawn point. Well. Also, we probably... Well. I don't know if that's going to work in the nether. So we're, we're going to test it. When we want to leave. For right now, we can put a... We can bend there. Block there. I like how we can just run straight through the fire. Like, it doesn't matter. Because it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, this this has been everything I was hoping for. From another expedition. Come on over. Oh, our inventory's so full. So full of amazing things. That is a nothing. Gotta block that up completely so we don't go that way. Jump off to our own peril. Another magic mirror. Cool. Bow of the Abyss. Flame. Alright, our inventory is getting very full. So we're gonna try to use the magic mirror. I don't expect this to work since we're in the nether. We only just go, only just does. There's a lot of our water though. I guess it's good to have a water supply at your teleport spot. So when you teleport back with your magic mirror, you don't immediately have problems. Alright. So that is a, that's gonna be a new item added to our repertoire. That's definitely something we want to have. As far as this is concerned, we don't really need any items while we're in there. So let us get all of our nether loot all compiled. And we can see what we can see. Super satisfied with the nether. I guess I could have brought the mirror to teleport back even quicker. Another idea. Ah, we didn't need a weapon. Any weapons in here? Should have brought a weapon. That was obviously the right choice to bring a weapon. Now, we don't really want to break this, since that would be more likely to drop items in fire. Alright, we're good. Okay. Back to base. We got the obsidian skull, too. That's great. Let's get all this. This is going to take a bit more sorting, of course. But there's some immediate things we can definitely look at. Just, oh, we still got all these things, too. We'll start by trying to put as many of these in here as possible. Right, second chest. Let's get our... Regular items out here. We're gonna want some bread, some water. Okay. A little bit more bread. All right. Blaze powder, obsidian skull, sin pendant, magic mirror. Diamonds. What are these sin pendants? Heart crystals, nether warts. I'm not sure what these iron rings can do. Wither bones. Slime ball. Apples. Wormhole potion. 
It's gonna be the most interesting things out of here. Blaze rods. That's a good number of blaze rods, too. A phantom prism. Okay. First thing I'm seeing here is all these heart crystal shards. I don't know if there's a maximum number of these, but now our hearts are like cyan. We're on the seventh layer of hearts now. That's great. That's definitely good. Oh, that's really good. We got the obsidian skull. We can combine that. That skip just need to make these fire potions or get a wither skeleton skull. We have wither skeleton skulls. Can we make those? To you. I hope we can just use them. So, wither skeleton skulls are going to be a thing we're going to need eventually. Apparently, not quite yet. But the obsidian skull can we put onto the cobalt shield to make the obsidian shield. Cobalt shield is immunity to knockback. Obsidian Skull is immune to burning and 50% resistance to fire damage. Against fire resistance and immunity to knockback. So we need the Cobalt Shield then. So that's a shield surrounded by that. Or we can just use the one we already have. Alright, we need to combine these in Anvil, I said. 10 levels. And it's going to give us the speed. I'd rather have the spear the max health. Honestly, at this point, plus two max health is actually just one heart out of the 70 that we have. So honestly, I wouldn't be mad to keep the plus speed. So give us the fleeting obsidian shield. That we can just pop straight back onto our person. Now we have partial fire resistance along with all the other stuff we had. And then, the obsidian shield, wasn't the ox shield? The ox charm is made with all of this. And then you put the obsidian shield and the ox charm together, okay. So the problem with this is we don't have the mixed dragon scale. And we need a nether star for that. For the nether star, I mean, there's, a, there's a good possibility we could find a nether star somewhere. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, the blaze powder. Make sure there's nothing we need blaze rods for. We can make blaze rods with blaze powder. So we can... If we turn the blaze rods into blaze powder, we can just turn them straight back into blaze rods with sticks, so that's okay. Got a brewing stand already. A pixie wand, which is a magic charge that deals five damage and makes targets levitate. That's fun. Fiery lily mixture. Oh, the hell shelves. That's something we need to look into eventually. All these weird enchantments. Very expensive XP bottles. Okay. Alright. Flamed. Where can I go? How's this one different than the other ones? Well, I kind of want to make a flamed dragon bone greatsword. That have the highest attack. 1.4. 18. Flame Dragon Bone Longsword has more attack damage for some reason. Maybe we want to look at a different greatsword. I guess that's 
reach and wide attack. All targets in sweep range take 100% of standard damage. That's a lot. That could be a lot of enemies. That's actually that's actually probably pretty good. Yeah, this one better reach and sweeping attacks. So it's not quite as good against single targets, but still pretty good. The saber is 8.25 damage compared to the greatsword's 18. Anything else really, really high? Spear, pike, lance, halberd, and shield breach. That's not too important. Warhammer has armor piercing. The hammer has nausea. Throw an axe, throw a knife. I do want a flame dragon longbow. That'd be good. I guess the next question is how many dragon bows do we have? Battle axe, flange mace. That takes only two dragon bones for that. So eight total dragon bones. How many dragon bones we got? Twelve. We got a lot of dragon bones. Okay. Oh. Now we're talking. We're gonna need handles. Uh, let's see here. Got the sticks. There is it. I think we need what? Two handles? The Dragon Bone Great Sword itself is 15. And the Flame gets up to 18. So. That's a Witherbone handle. So we need a handle and a Witherbone. So, Witherbone, Handle, Dragonbone Greatsword, that's a Boomerang, Dragonbone Strength and Longbow, get some of our Fire Dragon Blood. There's a flamed dragon bone greatsword. Flame dragon bone strength and longbow that we can't use. Take out our dragon skulls. And turn these into the better dragon skulls. We've got the six of these that we need. So let's just make those all into eyes of ender. Convert one, and then another. All right. So if we want to make the this, we're going to need three blocks of diamonds. Oof. That's 27 diamonds. We have 14. Okay. So we're not quite there yet. We could go get the two dragon scales. We'd be able to protect ourselves from withering, but we don't have the nether star, so we can't go too far that, for, further that way. That's a problem for another time. There's that necklace with the... Glowing ingots. Okay, we need four glowing ingots to make the stone of the sea. Infinite oxygen, possibly infinite water. So we need four fish, prismian crystal, iron, blaze rods, and glowstone dust. Blaze powder. Iron. Let's grab a 
couple blocks. Only need four of those for right now for what they are making. Prism and crystal. Four raw fish. Stone of the Sea. Okay. Poison hasn't been too big of a problem. We need this for that. Lethal damage. Blindness I don't like. Knockback and fire resistance. Remains to slowness, jump height, weakness. It's a possibility that this would save us so we'd be able to escape. Okay, it needs to be in the necklace slot. The water is still going down. We still have the water bar. Infinite oxygen enhanced swimming. So I don't think this works, unfortunately. How many levels of agility we need? We need up to 25, 24. We need to get these enchanted too. We can make potions. I'm gonna go see this enhanced swimming. But while we travel, we'll take the bonus speed. What time is it? Clock, tell me what time it is. About that time. Let's go for a swim. Does not look like this gets rid of the water requirement. So that's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be doing too much swimming to justify bringing this with us anywhere. Any other effects it has? Just some damage, I guess. This might be, if I had to guess, I'd say this is going to be the later version of swimming where you can actually move a bit more. We don't have the moving faster in water, so this might actually just be it. I mean, the infinite. I guess we can move up and down faster. That's good. Yeah, it's, inf it's infinite air. That's not, that's not amazing. So we still, I'm gonna try to get the water all the way down. See if it stops thirst from being a thing. I mean, No, I don't think it's working. Yeah, we can't sprint. Hey, look at our perk that we can move faster on paths. That that's great. <laughs> yeah, even if it stops us from 
dying from thirst. We still can't sprint, so. It's obviously not ideal. Either way, not what we need. Not really helping. Put in the treasure box. That's still interesting, but not, not what we need. Not what we need. Unfortunate. We have to continue using the bucket or find some actual decent way to deal with this. But. None of you have power, do you? Hmm. That makes things difficult. So we're gonna want to enchant this bow. I guess we could try the hell shelves. Eh. Can just just getting a regular level thing here. It's good enough for now. So I'm going to get some levels and stuff. Figure out what we're gonna do with this bow and great sword. Yeah, sharpness size is gonna make that even better. Our old bow has power four, punch two, mending, on breaking, and soul binding. So we can at least get power four on this. That's even better. Yeah, it's got plus projectile damage. Not quite as good as that one, but it takes Dragon Most to change these, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So I'm going to get some experience together from the wheat fields, do some villager trading, line up a good enchantment on the flamed Dragon Bone Strength and Longbow, and we will be even better kitted out than ever before. Next time. Goodbye.